breaking. Yeah, we're going to talk all about that. First weather, though, a double whammy for folks in the Midwest after the worst flooding in nearly 100 years for some towns. Very first time. Japan's Nikkei also up sharply and more, more of the same in Europe. Markets there also doing well this morning, Kieran. All right, well, it's time now to check in with our American Morning team of correspondents for other stories new this morning. And we've talked a lot about the recall of thousands, even millions of Chinese made toys. Well, now a stunning first look inside of Chinese factories where some of the world's most popular toys are made. American Morning's Alina Cho joins us now with details. Good morning, Alina. Good morning, Kieran. You know, we've heard about the millions of toys that have been recalled, including those 250,000 SpongeBob SquarePants address books, which were recalled yesterday. Well, some believe that the problems we've seen can be attributed to devastatingly brutal conditions at the Chinese factories where these toys are made. Toys, by the way, with popular brand names like Disney, Hasbro, and Mattel. Now, China Labor Watch, a U.S.-based organization, went inside these factories, sending their own investigators to eight Chinese factories over the course of a year. And what they found was simply stunning. Take a look at these photos. Uh, what they found were horrible working conditions, uh, no overtime, no sick or vacation pay, no safety equipment for the workers, awful living conditions in dormitories, and in some cases, child labor. All of this in blatant violation of Chinese labor laws. I was shocked at the conditions of the factories. Workers are working like machines, continuously producing seven days a week, up to 14 hours a day, using dangerous chemicals. More than 10 workers are forced to live in one dormitory room with barely enough food to survive. Now, China Labor Watch in part blames the U.S.-based toy companies, saying that they've turned a blind eye to safety. All of the major toy companies sent statements to CNN, including Hasbro, which said, Hasbro takes the report from China Labor Watch seriously, and we will conduct a thorough investigation into the areas of noncompliance. Now, the Chinese government, by the way, has also announced it will be forming a committee to look into this. But China Labor Watch says the real problem is that the toy companies are looking to pay the lowest price for Chinese products and in turn the factories simply have no choice but to cut costs onto its workers. It is a big business. The U.S. toy market is worth 22 billion dollars and Kieran 80 percent of those toys